Okay, here's a quick video to go through the metric system, scientific notation and density. Uh, you'll notice that uh, this is uh, um, the same setup as the uh, handout I gave you. So make sure that as I go through and add some notes, do some highlighting, things like that, that you do the same thing. Uh, so let's first start by taking a look at reviewing the uh, metric system and how it works. Um, so we'll take a look at these stairs right here and just go through this really quickly. The metric system, you have a base unit and your base unit would be uh, um, whatever unit of measurement that you're dealing with. So if I'm measuring volume, I'm going to be dealing with liters. If I'm measuring mass, I'm going to be dealing with uh, grams or kilograms. If I'm dealing with uh, distance, um, I'll be dealing with uh, meters. So uh, one of the things to understand is that this whole system is based on units of 10, meaning that if I have my base unit and I go up uh, this way, every time I take a step up, my unit is 10 times larger. And every time I take a step down, it's 10 times smaller. Um, and so this can be a little bit tricky for people to understand. Um, so a simple way to look at it is let's go back to uh, the good old ruler. We know that it takes a hundred centimeters to equal one meter. All right, and a centimeter is two steps down from the base unit of the meter. So that means it's uh, you would divide that by 10 twice, which would give you 100, meaning that we need 100 centimeters to equal one meter. A meter is a larger unit. Um, the base unit meter is larger than centi. Uh, but if we take a look at a meter, we know that there's also a thousand meters in one kilometer. And so that's going the opposite way. If I go from my base unit, I need to take three steps up and in each case I multiply by 10 so 10 times 10 times 10 is a thousand and that would give us a thousand meters in one kilometer and so we can use uh, these steps to try and figure uh, things out so if I have something like a hundred centimeters and I want to convert that to one meter I need to shift my decimal. So that's where we take a look at uh, either you can use the stairs or you can use this, uh, this sort of uh, um, linear system at the top here. If I'm going from uh, centi, which is small, to uh, the base unit uh, uh, meters, which is larger, I need my numbers going to get smaller. So see there's centi right here centi is smaller than the base unit. So if I go from small to large, like you see in this case, um, my, uh, my numbers, my decimal is going to end up having to shift to the left. And so I need to, if I'm going up two stairs, which I will, I'll get rid of this. This is sort of why I like using the stair system here. Because I'm going up my stairs, I need to shift my decimal to the left. So I go one, two, shifts to the left, and that gives me 1.0 meters. Now if I was going from a, thou uh, a uh, thousand, or say, let's go, I'm going from five kilometers and I want to know how many meters that is, I would start at my kilometers and notice that I need to go down three steps to get to my base unit meters. So what that means is that uh, and a lot of times I leave a little bit of space here to work with this. If I go five kilometers, my decimal's right there. Every time I go down, um, I bump my my decimal point to the right. I go three steps. One, two, three, right there. So see where we've got these empty bumps here? I just throw zero in. And so that gives me 5,000 meters. All right, and then you would maybe write it out a little bit neater. 
All right, and so we have 5,000 meters. So a good uh, sort of rule is uh, if you go uh, up the stairs, you shift the decimal to the so if you're going up the stairs, you're going to shift the decimal to the left. That means you're going from something small to something large. So you, your number is going to get smaller. And again, here you may want to pause because I'm erasing some of the notes. So you may want to pause and make sure you got the notes written. Find a better space here. I've got the luxury of erasing. If you go down the stairs, you shift the decimal to the right. That means your number is going to get larger. And we saw that when we went from kilo to the base unit meter. Um, you know, if you have one kilometer, that's a thousand meters. But if you have uh, one uh, um, meter, that would be 0 0.001 kilometers. And so that's how you would use that. Uh, you can use this one, this sort of line up here. I like using the stairs because you can jump, start anywhere on the stairs and, and go from there. So let's do just a few quick uh, uh, problems here and then we're going to move on, give you a chance to do some problems on your own uh, as well. So let's take a look at the first one. We've got seven centimeters and we're going to millimeters. So we're starting at centimeters and we're going to millimeters, so we're going down and we go down the stairs by one. So that means if I take my seven and here's my decimal here, because I'm going down the stairs, I'm going to bump to the right and I only bump to the right once. All right, so. I have that there, so I know I know that I need 70 millimeters, 70.0 millimeters is going to equal uh, 7 centimeters. And if you think about it, there's 10 millimeters for every centimeter, so uh, that would be like saying 10 times 7. And if we take a look at this next one, we want... Uh, Let's see here, we've got 95 uh, meters and we are going to go to uh, kilometers. And so if we go from meters, which is our base unit, to kilometers, we've got to go up the step three times. And so we need to shift the decimal to the uh, left. So I start here, my number's going to get smaller because meters is smaller than kilometers. And I need to shift it one, two, three times. Now see how I shifted it here? And uh, there's nothing in front of the nine, so I have to put a zero there, then my decimal, then another zero right there. And so I get zero decimal zero nine five kilometers. All right, so give her a go with all the uh, the other ones and see how that works out. Uh, pause it right now, try them out, check your answers, uh, call me over or uh, check the answers I posted online. And um, we're going to check out uh, another section here. So you've probably noticed that uh, I've jumped to a n new section here on metric conversions using scientific notation. Um, one of the things that we need to do is make sure we write like scientists. And so that's what we're going to be practicing uh, right now. Um, and there's an easy, simple way that scientists uh, write out their, uh, their number values. And uh, what we do is we try and always keep things uh, uh, based on uh, ones. So something like 100 could be written as 1.00 times 10 to the 2. And so if that was 100 meters, we would write it out in scientific notation like this. And so a scientific notation, what we're doing is we're trying to keep things 
as simple as we can and so instead of getting really big numbers which happens a lot in science we keep the numbers small so this is a way to keep the numbers small and we're using the ones uh, digits and typically in science we only go to like usually two decimal places so you know we'll require some rounding and stuff like that the tricky part with scientific notation is this part right here dealing with that times 10 to the exponent something. So we've got some rules that will allow us to do this in a way that's pretty easy. Um, so let's take a look at this one conversion right here. Say we had 2,560 millimeters and you wanted to convert it to centimeters. The answer would be, what would we do? Well, millimeters are smaller than centimeters, so we're going up the stairs, so I would dump, bump my decimal once to the to the uh, left because I'm going up the stairs my number is going to get smaller so now I got 256 centimeters now if we were going to write this down uh, this number is a little bit large so what we're going to do is this if we kind of can wrap our brains around this whole bumping thing what we can do is we can take 256 centimeters and we want to convert it to scientific notation so what we do is we figure out where the decimal is. It's right there. And so this whole bumping thing comes into play again nicely. So if I bump my decimal two times over to put it there so that I'm dealing with a ones digit, I'll have 2.56 right there. Now, I bumped that decimal twice and I went to the left. So because I went to the left, I put a squared there. I should probably move that over just a smidger. All right, so I've got my squared there, and so that's how I would write out 256 centimeters in scientific notation would be 2.56 times 10 to the 2 uh, centimeters. And so that's pretty much it. If you go to the left, you put a positive number. If you bump to the right, your number is going to be a negative. So these rules right here are super, super important. So we're going to highlight these so that you don't forget them. All right. And if we don't need uh, the if the decimal doesn't need to be bounced, uh, uh, the exponent is zero. So we'll take a look at some uh, questions right here. So um, we've got. 2,450,000 th uh, milliliters. Now, if I want to convert that to liters, I'm going up the stairs again, and I've got to go up three stairs. So because it's three stairs I'm going up, I'm converting here. I need to bump my decimal three times to the uh, left, so that gives me 2,450 liters. Now, I want to convert that to scientific notation. So how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to do that by getting rid of these extra digits here. So I'm going to have to do some more bumping. One, two, three bumps. All right. So that means I'm going to have times 10 to the exponent 3. And because I bumped it to the left, it's a positive 3. So I'd be left with 2 decimal four five zero times ten to the power three liters now let's say I'm going from grams to kilograms again I'm going up the stairs and I'm going to have to bump my decimal over I'm going to have to bump it over three times because it's three stairs that I'm going up I put my zeros in and so when I go from uh, 5.6 grams which is small to kilograms so a much larger unit my number is going to get really really small all right and then when I go to convert this um, notice that my decimal is going to have to move the other way one two three times that way so I've got times 10 to the 3, but this time it's to the minus 3. So I'd have 
times 10 to the minus 3. 